What is going on everyone doing a draft here on MTG Arena? If you like these videos, please hit that like and subscribe. All right, Invasion of Tolvada. When it enters the battlefield, return target non-battle permanent from your graveyard to the battlefield. So pretty strong card. Probably going to take this. We'll see what else is in the pack here. Daxos is okay. Dragon's okay here. Um, these three black cards are all decent. Not really first pick cards, but pretty good cards to pick up. Grasp is okay, so I'm not passing any other like really bomb cards here. Um, not passing a ton of white and black, so we'll try and stay open here. But uh, this definitely puts us in white and black. It's a really solid uh, battle card here. And tons of cards here. Wow, lots of good stuff here. Uh, the Invasion is decent. Strobe Knight's good. Uh, Furja is not bad. Rager's good. Grasp. Um, these are okay. Agents, Decent, Stasis Field, and Pest is pretty good. So I guess it depends what we want to go here. We want to stay on white and black. Um, not sure if I want to take another invasion. This is not bad, but five uh, counters can be quite a bit to remove. Uh, Purge is good. Strobe Knight might be the best card here. We could end up kind of splashing white or black. Graphs. Is also probably a pretty safe uh, pick here as well. I think we'll take the Strobe Knight. I don't know. I'm not really sure what to do here. Taking a white or black card is probably the safest, but Strobe Knight might be the best pick there. So, all right, we get rewarded. Might go three color now. Uh, Invasion of Amonkhet is a really, really good card here. Um, Opponent discards a card and you draw a card and you each mill three cards and then this flips into a 4-4 four, four and it can copy a creature in any graveyard, so really, really strong. Otherwise, the Order here or Eyes of Jataxis are both pretty good. The Tracker is really good here, but we'll stay on probably look to go white, blue, black here. And another good pack here, so lots of uh, white, blue, black here. Collective Nightmare probably be the pick for us here is just a Nice removal card. Um, Intercessor's okay. Sky Warden's pretty good. Um, Gorilla's decent. Cryptomancer's pretty good. So a lot of playable cards here, but the Nightmare is just good. We don't have any um, removal yet, so we'll go ahead and take this. All right. Uh, some more decent cards here. Huntmaster's pretty good. Sky Warden's good. The Knight is okay. I don't think we'll really go into... Too many knights. I mean, I guess we got the uh, strobe knight here, but I guess we want to see what we want to splash here. Do we want to just splash? Maybe splash for white right now? If that's the case, we probably want to go hunt master. If we want to splash, can't really splash much else. So maybe we go blue, black, splash white. So the hunt master is probably better here. Sky Warden's good, um, but. Because we want to splash white. I think the Hunt Master is just a better pick. Alright, complete the circuit. What does this do? Invoke, you may cast sorcery spells this turn as though they had flash. When you cast your next instant or sorcery spell, copy that spell twice. Yeah, that's not bad. There's not much else in here. A lot of green and red. Maybe we'll just take it. We could take the Sentinel as well, but I'll take this. I think it's a fun card. I don't know how good it is. Uh, okay, we're gonna land here, which is kind of nice. Invasion of Old Grotha. Um, this is not bad. I'm not sure how good it is. I mean, three damage and gain three life is not bad, but for five mana, it seems like it's a little expensive. Otherwise, just kind of some okay cards. I think the land here is actually probably the best for us here. Well, okay. Uh, Invasion of Dominaria. This is probably one of the Better invasions, in my opinion. It is five counters, but you draw, draw a card and gain four life, and then a four-four flying vigilance is pretty strong. So happily take that. We got a lot of three drops, so going to want to focus on uh, some more removal and two drops in the next few packs. But pretty happy with how this deck started out. We got a lot of good solid cards. Wow, Realm Breaker's Grasp went all the way around. Okay, pretty happy about that. Um, I guess we are kind of awkward with our colors. Still kind of splashing white. This kind of sucks. 
because we're splashing white, but it's a good, pretty good removal. And to get it this late is pretty nice. Wow, another one goes around, and there's an overgrown path pest, and Furja went around. So, um, I think Furja is stronger, but having a second grasp here is pretty strong. Pretty late on removal. Uh, we'll take a second. We'll take the Furja. I think it's just a little bit stronger, and we can probably get other removal. We got two pieces of removal so far. I think the scroll shift here, really late tracker too. Oh, I just take the tracker. I mean, I don't plan on going green here, but eh, better here. Backup or either of these cards are really that good. Probably not playing either of them, but all right. So oh, late sky warden too. Okay, so no one in white then. Maybe we should go into white. Maybe just splash blue. We go white, black, splash blue, I guess. Only need one blue for any of these cards, so. I guess we'll stay open here on what color, we, color we're going to splash. Aspect burgeoning is pretty good, too. I'm not sure what's going on there. All right, what do we got for our second pack? The Zephyr Singer. It's got Convoke, Flying Vigilance, and the Battlefield. Put a flying counter on each creature that convoked it, so that's pretty strong. Um, what else do we have? These land cyclers are pretty good. Not really a first pick card. Tandem takedown. I guess there's a new Mori as well. We could play it. Just a double black card. I think the Zephyr Singer is probably just the strongest card here. Even though we were splashing blue and now we're all over the place. Maybe we go back to could cut out Furja and splash black. We get enough land cycling. We can just go like a solid three colors. Um, enough land fixing, I mean. Wow, what is going on? There's an Aurelia, Listening Dawn, another Invasion here. Jesus. Well, I think the pick is either Invasion, Glistening Dawn. I don't think we're playing Aurora, Aurelia. Can't even say it. Um, this is pretty strong, though. Um, I think if anything, Glistening Dawn would be more splashable, but then we go into pretty much four color. Oh, I think we just go another invasion here. Um, I mean, green was kind of open. I should have taken that. Did I take, take that tracker? We do have a burgeoning. And we're just getting into really heavy. I guess we could take this. We could splash black, cut out Furja. Yeah, we'll stay open to the idea of maybe green. Wow. Okay, now we get Emodi, Corruption. I think we'll take the corruption. Emoti is really good as well. This is nice. It works with battles and it works with uh, incubator tokens. So really strong card here. I don't know if it's better than Emoti. I think they're pretty same. We don't really have a ton of um, six mana cards. So I think maybe the corruption is better here. Modi also does put us into green, which I'm not 100% sure we're in, but... Wow, look at this pack. Captive Weird, Preening Champion. Like, I don't know what people are playing here. Um, wow, we've got so many 3-drops. Insane. May not play that. Um, Preening Champion is really tempting. And here's good. Captive Weird or Omen Hawker is good. I am really not sure what to take here. Um, might even cut Furja out. Burgeoning if we go into green. I think the champion is just the strongest card here. These land cyclers are looking pretty good, but I think the champion kind of want this land too. The weird is also good. Wow. Right. There's Meeting of the Minds here is probably the pick. Jellic Intervention is pretty good. Take Meeting of the Minds. Uh, green White Land. Um, I guess we are possibly in green. I don't. Don't know if we'll go green white. I guess SRAM is not bad. We've got. 
We get enough auras, like Realm Breaker Grass, we draw a card. Not a ton of equipment or vehicles, but... Alright, we'll take it. I guess we need two drops. Probably not going into green. And as I say that, we get a tracker and a cami. Oh my god. Dispersal's really good too. I think we're just gonna splash black probably for maybe the two invasions. Maybe cut the Huntmaster and the Nightmare. Really tough here. Almost tempted to go green now, take the tracker. The cami is really tempting too. I don't know if the cami is better. Uh, the thespian's not bad. Cryptomancer's good. Got a wrath here as well. Much instant and sorcery we have. We only have four spells, so it's not not the greatest here. But wrath is pretty strong. Cryptomancer's good. I guess we'll take wrath. I think we're going into splashing black now. Random takedowns, double green. I think we'd rather have the knight here, maybe. Um, I guess the favor is kind of flashing. The 8-8 eight, eight is kind of tempting, but I think we need some more fixing right now. Okay, a Modi came all the way around, so I guess we'll take that. I guess we're going to cut out Burja here. Probably. Huntmaster's pretty good. We'll get another Burging here. Even the Omen Hawker's not bad. Activated abilities. Um, I guess the burgeoning helps with Shram though, so. We got two of those, so. Alright, so our deck is looking uh, kind of all over the place, but pretty strong. We might. Huntmaster's a maybe. I guess we need more removal. Um, so, gonna prioritize removal here, I think. There's a Grasp, which is pretty good removal. Guardian, we've got so many 3-drops. Um, this does... Creature or Artifact. I wonder how many creatures we have with, like, Enter the Battlefield effects. I think the Grasp is just what we want to pick. There's a Spell Spirit here. Well, wow, lots of good cards. I think we just want removal. Um, land cyclers might be good around too, but wow, an Urbrest gets passed. Oh my goodness! Another collective nightmare dispersal. So we might play these nightmares. No, we don't really have black creatures for convoke, so that kind of sucks. Final flourish is good. Should have taken that green white land a while ago, too. Wow, okay. Um, Bursal's good here. I guess Emoti's not really that good. We don't have a lot of uh, six drop spells right now. Um, Take the final flourish here. Oh, another beat the circuit. Test, Surveyor, Burgeoning. Well, we're going pretty hard for colors, I guess. Um, another Complete the Circuit. I guess we don't really have a ton of instant and sorcery, so we might even cut that out. It does work with Emoti. Um, just go with the Pest here. We kind of need two drops and stuff. Vanquish the Weak is not bad. I'm gonna just take the land here for fixing. Not terribly worried if any of those cards get passed. Got two burgings already. This is kind of a weak pack. We're not playing red. We don't need that land. Counterspell. Terribly excited for that. Um the creatures we have only eleven creatures right now. I guess we've got the burgeonings, which are good. I think the wingspan, I don't think we'll play it. Not much else in the pack. Wow, okay, refusal, Halo Forger. Uh, Halo Forger is just such a good card. I think that's the pick here. Refusal's good as well. I mean, I guess this goes well with Emoti. It's Convoke as well. We've got so many three drops here. 
probably cut the Huntmaster. Uh, this is just such a strong card, though, I think. Stasis Field's even tempting as well. Oh, another Invasion, Captive Weird. Knight? It might not be bad. We've got three Knights. It is white and blue. A little harder to cast, but... I don't think we need an Invasion. I think the Weird or... Knight is good. I don't have a ton of knights, so I think I'll take the weird here. Oh, another one. We get a Norn's Inquisitor as well. Tracker, Converter Beast. Wow, a lot of good cards here. Captive Weird is good here as well. I think the Inquisitor is probably the best. We've got enough with the Burgeonings, the Glistening Dawn. Got enough things that create tokens, so... Take that... And there, I guess the uh, land cycler here is not bad. Take that. Another land cycler here. Or. Probably not going to play the informant. Probably take the land cycler. It's fine. I guess these are good with a Modi too. We'll probably cut. Complete the circuit. Uh, Revelation, Essence, or Converter Beast. Um. Take the Converter Beast? I don't know. Alright, so we got a bit of fixing and stuff. Our deck is a little awkward. Maybe I shouldn't have went Glistening Dawn. Like, we're pretty heavy. Four colors right now, which... Yeah. Not the best, but... Eh, not a huge fan of that invasion. Don't know if we'd play a third burgeoning. I think the Omen Hawker. Probably not going to play that either. All right, the deck is looking okay. Like, uh, we got a lot of good cards. Maybe went a little too crazy on uh, different colors here. Actually, Stasis feels not even bad. Even Sunder the Gateway is not bad. And yeah, we'll take the Stasis Field. All right, we'll see how it looks here. Maybe going into green was not the best. I mean, is our deck good enough without playing the Glistening Dawn? Might even cut the Modi. Only got two other cards that are over five mana or six or more. Got a lot of cards here. What if we just cut out? Green all together, is that crazy? That does pretty much put us right where we need to be. I shouldn't have went into green there. Yeah, you know what? I think we just go three color here. I think I got a little too... too crazy picking the Glistening Dawn. I should have just passed it, even though it's a pretty big bomb. I guess we could even put Furja back in now. 17 lands here. And I think this is fine. Play Furjo, it's pretty good. We play a scroll shift as well. Only got three instants. We have no sorceries. Makes Raft not very good.
Could cut out the wingspan and put in Perja. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep this. See how it goes. All right, opponent goes first. We'll keep this hand. Pretty good. Got the land cycler here for white. You don't even need it now, so that's kind of nice. Pretty slow hand by the opponent here, so... Fine, we'll probably cycle this at end of turn, just so we get our land. i not sure what the opponent has. We got two graphs, so not too worried about losing that creature. So either our opponent's got some big fat creatures he's going to play soon, or... Um, Just sandbagging with a grass spell. Not really sure. But if that's the case. He's going to take six next turn if he doesn't play anything. So hopefully he plays a creature. We can just uh, grasp it and then tack in. Okay. Oh, it's a bit unfortunate, but we get a creature here. A bit unfortunate that we don't get the card off it, but... Um... Gonna be smacking and hopefully just play some creatures here. Guess we can't really attack in next turn. Well, I guess we could grasp artifact or creatures. We could grasp that. It was tempting to make stasis feel this or something, but I'm not really that worried. He's needing like a blue or red, maybe. But I feel like we're fairly safe. We've got a ton of cards here. knows we have the grass actually I guess he doesn't know we have this because but we're pretty good I mean we got two removals of tap down here
Oops, forgot he had counter, so it's 2 4. He can still block here. A little bit of a misplay on my part. I guess I was just thinking the grass was a little bit more versatile. All right, so that game seemed a little unfair. Our deck just kept drawing cards, playing stuff, tons of removals, so that worked out well. Good first game there for us. All right, we are on the draw here. Pretty good hand. We got Shram, Stasis Field, Flourish, Invasion. Need another land here, ideally a Swamp, and we'll be pretty good to go. I think opponent might be mulliganing here. Um, I think if that thing flips, we just lose, potentially, so. It's tempting as it is to get SRAM down, I think we'll get other value out here, so. He just flips here, that's fine. Right, so I hit a land there, which is nice. Pretty lucky we could have hit something and then not played it, but now we've got the invasion. If we draw another land, especially a swamp, we can play two things next turn. Oh, that's not bad because this he exiles three. I guess he gets a land, but like he doesn't really get an extra spell off that really. Dug for another land, which is good, but at least he's not really getting like a huge two for one for that.
I should have played this first. A little bit unfortunate there, but Not sure if I really want to double block here. Go ahead and just pass here. I don't mind trading off here, hopefully. I didn't want to attack in there, and then he would just attack. He could sacrifice this and then flip this next turn. I think we'll final flourish this now. I guess he can do three damage to something, but... Not sure if that trade on the devil was good. I maybe should have let that damage through. So we bring back the Inquisitor.
Wow. Yeah, I should have probably not double blocked that stupid single block that stupid uh, imp thing. Might as well make that a little bit bigger. Oh, we might have misplayed this game. I feel like we should have won. I think we're screwed here anyways. Wow, had I played that last turn and killed his 2 2 fire, would we have? Wow, we might have been alive there. Had I cast that on my turn, drawn a card, played the wings, might not have had enough mana actually. Might have been one mana short, but I could have played the wings, flipped my. Might not even be able to flip, it's only plus two plus two, so maybe it would have been dead anyways, but. I think blocking that imp was a bad, bad play. We should have just let the damage through. I think that cost us the game there. Oh well, on to the next one here. Opponent goes first. Got a pretty good hand. Dram the man. Almost misplayed the land there. Wasn't expecting to draw one of those. Go ahead and play Shram out instead of the weird. Next turn we can grasp or weird. That's fine. Three.
And we'll take three again. I kind of want to use this weird to convoke the singer next turn, possibly. Alright, so he meeting in the mines there. I'm not sure. And we can get rid of the land here. It's not sure what this person's doing. Taking a really long time to make decisions here. I'm playing just using the stasis field. Got a big creature next turn or something. We're a little bit screwed, but... Eh, we'll pass. I was just contemplating using it just for... Mana's sake, but... Guess that's a good enough target for it, probably. Not even that worried about him flipping this. Like, if he flips this next turn... I guess he can, like, target one of these and attack in. 
but not really. Right. 12. And yeah, we'll draw a card off this. We'll go ahead and do it. And that's a nice draw for us there, so we get another removal back anyways, so. I guess this way it also puts him at lethal if he doesn't have anything. If he were to kill my 3-3 by flipping this, he'd be a bit short. We'll just block there. Don't want to give him survey. He could have the Mirrodin Besiege card. Got lethal on here. Maybe I should have blocked more there. I don't know. Because he could have surveyed and stuff, but. All right, so opponent's just being a bit annoying there, taking time, uh, just wasting time there. Didn't have anything stalling there, so a little bit annoying, but uh, got the win. We go first here. We'll go ahead and keep this. Not the best hand here, but not bad. Go ahead and do that in case he had a volcanic spite. At least now we got a fire down. Pressure on. Maybe I should have just flipped an attack too, but All right, we'll try for the flip here now. I expect he's got something, but maybe not. We got Vito on board here, so unless he has something. Mm -hmm. 
Right, there we go. Eat the Korean pizza. Pretty easy win there for us. Right, we go first. We'll go ahead and keep this. Let's play out the knight here. We don't really have much else. And then if he plays a creature next turn, we can... Pass the wingspan, get in. A little bit surprised he didn't pass that to block. Got a little bit lucky there. Guess he wouldn't have got got the card, but he could have killed our raft there. Take the damage here. I don't want to put the wingspans on the knight. He might have cosmic thunder. We got aggressive here. We can go ahead and take eight next turn, and that's fine. I'm thinking what to do here. Why they don't just swing in unless they got something pre combat. We just take that. Hmm, we can't really attack in now, so.
the sit back kind of wanted to attack in, but... A little bit defensive here. There's instant or sorcery from any graveyard. Hey, there's no targets for that. Oh, we're just dead anyway, so. Alright, well, we just got run over there. Got a pretty good aggressive deck there. Maybe I should have been a little bit more defensive there. Not too sure. May swing it in that one turn was a bit of a mistake, but oh well, what are you gonna do? Alright, we go first, we'll keep this. Um I don't know what we play out here. Since we draw a wrath, we want white and blue. Tempting to double spell here, but we'll just hold up here. Cast me in the mines. Alright, well, you can still equip another creature here, but that's fine. Equip here, that's fine. Okay, he plays a Halberd and a Spell Spear here.
I think we just locked down the spell spear. I mean, this great sword is also a bit problematic, but hopefully we can deal with it. Made a mistake there. <laughs> So we're in pretty good position here. Just dead unless he's got uh, removal. Actually, no, I guess this can still block. So put him down to one with the flyers. Hold up with final four is probably and I don't think we can really lose this game at this point now. All right, there we go. So opponent just timed out a bunch, and then I don't know what he was doing. But got the win there. Opponent got a little bit land screwed, and we had a really good draw. So, got well for us there. All right, we go first. Looks like a pretty good hand for us here. We have a block here. All right, well, he called my bluff there. I got nothing. Kind of risky block. I mean, there's a lot of pump spells. Damage or minus spells and stuff, but I guess we didn't really care about Rona too much. Not even sure what this thing does. And it flips over. Uh... Our source deals damage to Rona. Okay, so probably don't want it flipping, but... I 
think we just pass here. No point getting in for damage. Rather have the extra card here. Whenever our source deals damage to Verona, that source's control exiles a card in their hand at random. If you're playing a card, you may put it on the battlefield for your control, otherwise you may cast it without paying its mana cost. A little bit annoying, but not the end of the world. A whole bunch of lands here. Getting to filter cards here, some bit of an advantage for him here, but hopefully we can just um, move it next turn. Okay, land cycling, so I guess he wants the land for Rona, probably. Kind of best case scenario if he just flips this next turn, yeah, uh, but. Bad part is these knights are kind of almost more trouble than Rona, but I don't really want this thing flipping. And filtering cards too is annoying. Wow, okay. That's a bomb there. Almost tempted to hold this up. Next turn, so get a third spell and then a token, but and we're taking five from this unless we think we could jump off the one one. Hmm. I think we'll wait. I think it's worth it. We got tons of land. We can spare the life. I don't really want to block off Shram here on the Lancer. It's fine. Okay, didn't even tack in with that. Is that odd? Okay. 
Okay. like that now at least we get something out of the invasion here I could have blocked with the host last turn maybe that would have been better I'm gonna block with the host then then got it back when I cast this, but it would have just been trading off Rona for something else. I'm not sure that's really the best. And this flyer is definitely causing some issues for us, but Um, does he have a pump spell or is he got a wrath? I guess he's got maybe a raft here. Why would he attack with everything here? Pretty suspicious. Lock like that? I don't know if it was stupid. Uh, I should have, uh, that was dumb. I should have blocked, knowing that he had the wrath. Should have blocked with the host there. Well, we're drawing a bunch of lands here anyway, so I don't think it matters. My only chance here is if I draw a fairy forger, and then I can wrap back.
Come on. Fairy. One time for the fairy. One in 20 chance. I think I'm scared he's just gonna flip that and dead. Chooses not to. Highly really dope. Oh, he went to combat. Okay, so we get another turn to. Oh, wait, no, I don't. <laughs> Never mind, he just tapped it down. Thought I could block there. We got the bolus slinger, tap slings down, so, yep. All right, well, not much we could do there. It just drew way too many lands. So we had a good deck. We only went, what, four wins there? I think I misplayed that one game. Probably should have won at least one more, but pretty happy with four wins. Uh, still getting 1,400 gems back, so not too bad. All right, well, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.